Hello and welcome to Floss Tube episode something. Episode. Okay, put my book away. Why did I do that? Because I'm an idiot. Floss Tube 24. Welcome to Floss Tube 24. If you are coming from my previous podcast, wow, you must really like me. I can't handle that much me. I really, I don't know that I could. But hey, oh, there's the itchy nose. There you go, Jesse. Jesse Marie. I feel like I'm talking to myself. All right. Welcome. It has been a couple of weeks. Uh, if you do not follow, if you follow me on Instagram, you may know. Uh, if you're on Ravelry, you know. If you watched the podcast previous, you know. Um, there was a sudden loss in my family of my middle cat, Beetle. Um, it was unexpected. It was sudden, and it completely decimated me. And I am still suffering. Uh, some grief from that and I don't want to get into it too much it was a very traumatic experience and yeah so I took a week off and then I was at SSK which of course fo another following week I uh, was not around but now I'm back and I will be back to my regularly scheduled programming ish I believe I'll be able to record a little off next week because we will have my mom will be here and then we've got my husband's family coming in. Either way, it's going to be a little off, but I'm going to try and record each week. That's the plan. So, I have only worked on two things in the last two weeks because, of course, as I said, I, I've been I've I've had issues. You do not spend 19 years with a, a pet and um, not have issues. I got some more done on my Hocus Pocus by Prairie Schooler. As you can see, I got the owl tells done and I started up on the who. Or on a who. No, it says who. I figured I'd, I'd do the top row. I didn't really know what the heck I was doing, so I just kind of won it. I have no idea where the... Do, do, do. Put it back in this box for now. This is on Even Weave Antique White. Even Weave Lugana Antique White. They're just the basic stuff that comes in the box because that is what I like. And here is the, the booklet. I like it. I was going to start changing things around and then I said, oh, screw it. I like it the way it is. So that's my plan. That is my intention. There's a heaven and earth sale. I may pick up something. I don't know. I got, I ordered like a full on kit, like one of the huge super ones for, for hubby for his birthday, which is uh, in August. And so that should be here soon. But my goodness, it's a super, super sized max color kit. Nuts. He's nuts. He's nuts for wanting it, and I'm nuts for getting it for him. Twitter. I think. Twitter? Yeah, Twitter. The other thing I've done, because like I said, I was depressed, and I, I decided I was just going to start something that made me happy, and I saw this, and it made me happy. It is on 18 count, antique white, just your generic what you get at Joann's. Uh, it is, this is what it looks like so far. I've got the Growlithe almost done. It's a Growlithe and an Arcanine. It's from Video Game X Stitch on Etsy. It is super cheap. It's like $2.75, I want to say. Like two bucks-ish. And here is what it looks like. So, that is what it's going to be when it's done. That is where I am at now. And I bought a couple from her because I assume it's a her. Yeah, it's a her because it, it's Michelle. Uh, we've been Pokemon going. It's been a lot of fun. It's, it's definitely forced me to get out and get some steps in and do stuff. And I really enjoy that aspect of it. Plus, my husband's really into Pokemon and it just kind of carries over. So I also picked up Evolutions. 
And I figure these aren't very big, so I'm going to be able to fit the three that I bought probably on the same piece of 18 count here. So that is pretty awesome. So I picked up Evolutions, the Growlithe Arcanine, and the Starter 3, because of course I need Bulber in my life at all times. So that is what I've been up to with that. I know it's not a lot of stitching for two weeks, but I was gone. I was in Nashville for a knitting, uh, knitting spinning kind of deal from the 19th to the 24th, so that took a lot of time, and I just, I was really, I, I sat, I laid in bed and I read a lot, because that's what happens when you're sad, and I'm allowed to be sad. I did, however, do some therapeutic shopping, so I'm going to run through these for you. I got the cross stitch, which you've probably already seen on the Evergreen Needle. If you ever wondered, okay, I'm going to go into this for a second here. The reason my name is Sadie Rune on Twitter and Instagram is Blue Rune on Ravelry. Blue Rune was already taken on Twitter and Instagram. Blue Rune comes from, it's, it's a reference to Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. It's one of the hair colors Clem has, and, or she thinks up. It's what she has, I believe. It's the blue hair she has. It's called Blue Ruin. And so I love Clementine from Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. I love the movie Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. And thusly, Blue Ruin on Ravelry and Sadie Ruin everywhere else. It also kind of ties into the band My Ruin, which is uh, fronted by Tari B, which I really, really liked back in the day. I still enjoy them. I'm just not as angry as I used to be. Anywho, that's where my name comes from, and you've probably already seen this on the Evergreen Needles, and that the store she talked about in Issaquah, I'm so going, FYI. When my mom gets here, hubby's taking some days off, we're gonna go out, we're gonna get, we're, we're going on a trip to see. <laughs> we'll, we'll do some other stuff, but I like the hard anger, and I've got a couple of the other issues, so I should be able to actually do that sampler. I like the puppy, but the flamingo, the flamingo sold me, I'm not even going to lie to you, and I like the coral too. Not as into the boat, I feel no reason to be in the Caribbean. Uh, it's just me. And then picked this one up at Joanne's, I picked this one up at Joanne's. It is the World of Cross Stitching, Britain number one, blah 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 blah. Got a kitty on the front. And there were a couple that entertained me, which is why I had to get it. Now if I could only find them. It's got a it's got a lot of little ones, which are great for like embellishment or doing up a card or something. I do think this cute little foxy dude is, is adorable. They've got a bear hugging a deer. Like, I mean, those are cute. Where are the ones that really moved me? Life is like a cup of tea. It's all about how you make it. I thought that would be a good one for, for some people I know. Uh, you know, that that would be a good gift stitch. And I think the, these ones are probably the ones that really moved me the most, was these ones. Because I really love the owl in the tree, and then there's like a horse. I'm sorry I'm showing you the thing. If you can figure that out that fast, then be my guest. Lady with a poodle. And the kitty, I don't, I don't know why I, uh, you know what, some days you don't have to make sense, you just, you just do. Right? Right? I don't have to make sense. I don't. I feel absolutely no mandatory requirement to make sense. And then I got this guy. This is the ultimate cross stitch of nature, because hello nature cross stitch I also got this at Joann's 
Coupons are a great thing. Coupons are the reason we we go to Joanne's. They have the Celtic Trees book or er, birthdays. So each it has a tree for each month of birthday, and I think that would be a great thing to do for birthday cards, because who knows their tree? I sure didn't, and now I do, which is pretty sweet. Then they've got these wildlife and winter guys which I also think are adorable. There's an owl. And you know the rule, if there's an owl, I kind of have to have it. There's hedgehogs and mushrooms and owls and like, seriously, hedgehogs and mushrooms. I am easily entertained. This easily entertained me. There's a whole section on bunnies. I'm not really into bunnies. If you're into bunnies, there's a whole section on them. There's lupins by the sea. Again, don't care about lupins. There's lavender field. Could care less about lavender field. I, maybe I couldn't. I like the down by the river birds. Hold on. You will do that and I will go here. Okay. Sorry about that. I love the birds. Bunch of flowers, bunch of different flowers. There's all of these animals. It's called Animal Magic. They have a kiwi bird. It's not often I see kiwi birds, so yeah, that completely moved me. There's this whole thing of butterflies. And there's some a fawn of some kind. Like the ducks with the ducklings. The ducks with the ducklings. Can you handle the cute? I don't know if I can handle the cute. Like, I don't know that I'd make it. But for some strange reason, I just needed to have it. And sometimes you just need to go with that. It doesn't actually make sense. I may never stitch anything from this. Although I do like this China Bluebird. But it made me happy. And I purchased it. And. While Kelly's busy telling herself no, I'm busy saying, who's it going to hurt? And I had ordered this in, and it came in. I would looked everywhere for it. It wasn't out yet. So I ordered it, and then I saw, started seeing it in places. I was like, why didn't I just wait? But whatever. My husband needed some uh, 25 count for a heaven and earth design and oh my god it is so worth ordering the just cross stitch 2016 special collector's issue of halloween oh my goodness like why why i even bother thinking i'll stitch something that's not in here i don't know like look at these pumpkins if you don't like flip throughs you may as well just check out now because i'm going to be flipping through this like okay i don't i don't care for that one and to each their own taste, but like, look at the owl in the tree. Look at the owl! I don't usually do, um, Celtic stuff. Okay. 31st October, boo, All Hallows Eve, yes. Yes. And this, of course, is by the Primitive Hair, which is probably why I want it, because I am predictable. These creepy critters, I don't want to do them all. I have a Halloween tree, so I could put them on everything. Wouldn't even matter. I don't know that I'd do the cockadoodle boo or the werewolf habitat, but the cat ones, oh yeah. The bat one, yeah. Yeah. I would not do the coasters. Those are two. I love this. I love this. Voices whisper in the trees tonight is Halloween. And there's little birds on a graveyard with an owl and a tree. Like, bird, graveyard, owl, tree, bat. Why don't you just take my money? Here, let me throw money at you. A sugar skull. <sighs> I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Not big into the treat bags. The Biscornu is okay. It's okay. Okay, Biscornu. 
It's not a Biscornu I'm going to write home about. It's not one that's going to make or break me. Uh, I've never done a Biscornu. It's not one that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to make a Biscornu after that. Halloween bookmark. Bookmark. With owls. I'll probably do that one and do it for my mom. For, like, as a Christmas present. More sugar skulls. More sugar skulls. Here, my good. And I would make all of those. Things that go boo. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And maybe not the pumpkin saying boo. That's a little cliche, but oh my god. This one. I'm surprised. Like, I should just kit this up and start it now. Let's, let's not even. The key the crow brought turns only one law. say what now that is that is basically the perfection perfection it's friggin perfection it's got a crow it's got a key I like crows I like keys I like skulls like come on it's by stitchy fish I need to get a nice piece of, of hand dyed linen for that spider and the crow I, I believe it's a pin cushion. Got a crow. I'll make it. I'm not gonna lie to you. It has a crow. I will probably want to make it. I'm not a big fan of the pin cushion and the fob. Like, I mean, there's some stuff. And it's like that's cutesy Halloween, and I'm not into cutesy Halloween. I love how sinister this cat looks. I am not into cutesy Halloween. I am more into like demented Halloween. Night music. Like, look at how evil that cat looks. That that cat and that moon, they're gonna they're gonna stir some stuff up. They're gonna they're gonna cause a riot. Which is library. It's a little cutesy, but I do like books. Again, I could probably do all of these and be a happy camper. Uh, these two. This one and this one. Those are my favorites. Yeah. There's a little bit of cutesy to the other ones that I'm not 100% sold on, but hey, I like those silhouette ones. I like the key on this. I would. I don't think I would make it into a pillow, but I like the key. Of course, it's, it's like the key I have. I have keys right here. There is a frosted pumpkin one. That is the QT I would probably do because it is adorable. And they just uh, started a new clubbery thing, a clubbery club thing, or a new whatever with. And after being unimpressed with the let's go on an adventure, I'm not sure that I should. I should wait and find out what it looks like because I didn't like Halloween Town either. The cover black cat with the shoe I totally want to make of course it was my black cat that passed away I like this one but I think it's too cutesy for like something I would keep so I'd only do it for someone else yes Petrie I like this one Potions, brews, spells, beware all who enter. What? This witch, let's face it, I may as well just kit her up because there's a bat, there's, a, I'm going to say it's a crow, it's probably a raven, there's a witch, she's got purple hair. What more do I need in life? Not a whole bloody lot. The spooky ride is kind of cute. It's a little too cutesy for me, but I do like that the cat is pulling the thingy. And the frame does nothing for me. That basically sums up Halloween 2016, of which I may as well just start kidding things up from there and going to town, because... that is everything I've had for the last two weeks. I am probably not going to be here on time next week. I will be recording. 
Uh, my mother will be in town. Maybe I can get her to come record with me and show you what she's working on. I don't know. I do not know. Do you know, Petrie? Do you know? Do you? Petrie doesn't know either. How's your little nose doing? I gotta go pick up the pills. Where's your pee pee? I really am just a servant to the cats. I live to serve. I'm sure this is really thrilling for you. I don't know. I like watching other people's pets, so who am I to say? But that's all I have to report for two weeks. Like, I mean, it's pretty, pretty pathetic. It's a pretty pathetic showing. Yes, it is. But hopefully I'll have some more. I'm sure I'll have a lot of fun, stitchy time with my mom, because we both like to stitch. And, uh... I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you next week.